Enthusiasts, how are you doing? Welcome back. I know what you're thinking. Look at the state of this place. I can't work like this. Let me get this sorted out and I'll be right back. So guys, <laughs> in true classic mini workshop style, that quick clean up turned into about six or seven hours. Um, so that's all the bits on the subframe ready to go back on now. Um, everything's sort of been painted up, cleaned, lacquered. even down to like the fuel pipes um yeah it's all ready to go back on i've got new shock absorbers for it um new subframe bushes trunnions are cleaned up handbrake cables oh i am waiting on the breakos apparently according to mini sport out of stock until may <laughs> really <laughs> so anyway i um I've got another Bracos elsewhere coming off eBay, hopefully early on this, this week. And then I can get this all back in the car. The only thing I haven't done is the radius arms, they're over there. Uh, I've got the kits to uh, refurbish them. So I need to clean up both radius arms, ream them, put new kits in, get them painted up. The subframes down here, subframes all painted. It's looking pretty good. I didn't do a, a perfect job on it, to be honest. Uh, I just wanted to get it painted, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so next job, I guess before this goes back in, I've got to get all the stone chipping done on the underneath of the car, which is a completely horrible job. So let's get that done. Right champs, it's time for seam sealing and stone chipping. So the seam sealer we're using is brushable seam sealer. It's a U-pole grey stripe. Um, Mark's used it before, works really well. Uh, it's really easy to apply, just get a brush. I cut the brush down. This is a one and a half inch brush, uh, one and a quarter, and I'll just cut it in half. It just makes the bristles a bit stiffer. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. Basically, we're just doing anywhere that the seam sealer, I've had to take it off because as I say, anywhere that was a bit loose, I've, um, I've just gone over it with a stiff wire wheel and taken it off. So we're just reapplying.
Right chaps, we're going to do some stone chipping. This is probably one of the worst jobs. Well, job I really hate doing anyway. Uh, mainly, I've done it on Vinny. Um, it's just difficult, difficult doing it on the floor like this. All right, if you got rolled over on a jig, uh, it just makes a right flipping mess as well. So we're using U-Pole Gravitex. I've got the gun set at about 60 PSI, which it recommends for an orange peel finish. This is a crap gun. Um, it just kind of spatters it on there. But it gives an all right looking finish once it's done. Um, like I say, I hate doing it. Done the seam sealing, let's give it a go and see how much mess we make. It's extremely messy doing this. The thing I learnt from last time though is put a light coat on, it splatters it out all over the place. It does give the kind of factory looking finish. Um, is do a light coat, wait, let it dry, do another coat, let it dry, do another coat. If you whack too much on at once, it all cracks. Um, and the worst thing is I've got to try and spray this way to get up behind this lip. So I need to mask off well cover up the rest of the workshop because it's going to get flipping everywhere it is a horrible job trust me um but yeah you get the idea i'm not going to film it all it's a bit boring but um let me get it done and then uh, i'll come back and show you how we're doing Right then chaps, so that's the seam sealing um, and stone chipping done. There's a, just a little bit closer on the subframe. This is the top side of the subframe. <clears throat> I actually brush painted the top side because I had some hammerite spare. Um, yeah, and the finish is obviously not that important because you do not see that bit at all. Um, but it is well covered. That's the corner there where I repaired it, so you can barely see that now. So that's nice. I, unfortunately, I've got a bit of stone chip on it from overspray. It's really difficult not to get stone chip on it or to get overspray with that stuff. It just gets everywhere. Let me just turn it over. And then this, guys, is the bottom of the subframe. So this is a bit you see when you're looking underneath the car. So as you can see, the finish is, well, I don't know if, whether you'll see it on the camera, actually, but the finish is a bit better because I've done that in Smooth Right. I uh, used a whole can. If I'd done the whole lot in Smooth Right, it would have probably took two to three cans so that's why i brush painted the top really just economy again brush painting it paint seems to go a lot further it's cheaper um but the finish isn't that good because obviously you get brush marks in it but i think that's fine for a subframe that's been refurbished the only thing i am going to do now before it goes back in so in all the cavities so in the back there in the back there on that side in all the corners uh, and where the trumpets sit inside there uh, that is all going to get a liberal coating of wax oil well cavity wax um, just to stop it corroding any further and then that's ready to go back in so next job uh, I do actually quite enjoy this stage of it I need to prime base coat and lacquer the underside of the boot area. I'm not going to do the seals because they'll get done when the car gets resprayed. Um, but obviously the boot area needs to be done because the subframe needs to go back in. So that'll be in the next update. So don't forget to tune back in. Thanks for watching this week, guys. Cheers.